policing the police every single day. And doing what the Charlotte County Sun newspaper and local TV stations won't do every single day. Hey, Shara Connie, this is Shara Connie Cop Watch, and uh, we got to do a video on this. Uh, our dictator, uh, Shara Connie Sheriff Bill Permel, the uh, felon himself right here, uh, just did a video. And uh, um, he's a felon. He has a uh, legal list of gun owners, third degree felony, $5 million fine, and our felon state attorney. Uh, a Meyer Fox said the list is not a list. Uh, so they're both felons, and uh, you should put him in prison. So anyways, he's doing a COVID-19 update, coronavirus update, and basically he's admitting in here, uh, we are going to suspend our road pirates and policing for profit because we like to fuck you, but uh, this virus is fucking us. And uh, they've even might have want, had one of their own die from the virus. Uh, I, Bruce Ogden, possibly. Uh, he was actually retired, but uh, they're keeping it really hush-hush. It's very bizarre. I mean, really hush-hush. Um, so they have literally shut down almost all offices. They won't come out unless there's a victim. Uh, tickets, I will attach a video to prove it. Tickets have went from 130 a day down to 13. So there you go. Uh, arrests are way down. You can go to the website and check that. Uh, arrests were uh, like 20 plus a day. Now they're down to maybe five. And there's still some arrests in there that they should not be putting in jail. That I mean, you can. that's literally a death sentence with this virus right now is by putting them in jail. It's literally a death sentence right now by even talking to these motherfuckers, man, because they're going, to, they're going everywhere. They're talking to people, touching people. What the fuck? Why are they even giving out tickets? Even 13 is too many. You can get a goddamn virus from the goddamn motherfucker and prick, road pirate motherfuckers. Policing for profit. Period. This is proof of it. I will attach this video. You watch it. We are suspending policing. I'm going to translate. We are suspending our road pirates and policing for profit because we might get the virus. So we're going to have to suspend that. Because we just like to fuck you, and we don't like to get fucked ourselves. So, uh, he said there's policies that they put in place. I'm going to pull records on that, or at least try, because he's also doing misdemeanor offenses, which you can sue for every single one by not giving uh, record requests. Under Sunshine Law, we have the right for record requests. So, this guy is an out-of-control, dictator, prick, felon... And uh, he admits that we are going to suspend policing for profit because we could possibly get fucked ourselves. Oh, by the way, and he keeps saying too, uh, we, you know, we don't want to give you a ticket if you go on the beach where you're supposedly it's illegal to be. But you know, if you're going to force us, to do it, buddy. And here's the reason why I believe they're not. It's fucking illegal and unconstitutional. Period. Are you shitting me? I mean, this Florida so out of control, they arrested a pastor for people meeting. That's so unconstitutional and violates religious rights. It's not even funny. So remember what our founding father says. Take a goddamn country back. You're a frog in a pot. The water's gone. Get the hell out and fight sheeple. Why do you think they're trying to separate us so they don't? we don't rise up like our founding father said, damn it? COVID-19 has already been logged as the largest emergency management event in the history of the state of Florida. The Florida Sheriff's Association has staffed the ESF-16 Law Enforcement Desk of the State Emergency Operations Center since March 7th. Our staff at the SEOC remains a central point of contact for any emergency activities regarding COVID-19 and any law enforcement coordination conducted at the state level. Sheriffs operate under a mutual aid agreement that allows sheriffs to help sheriffs without any mandate from the state. Since the beginning, I've been in contact daily with federal, state, and local leaders, and many precautionary measures have been put in place at all levels in order to prevent the spread of the virus. Here at the Sheriff's Office, I have also implemented policies and canceled functions to reduce the risk of Sheriff's Office staff from potentially becoming exposed. Law enforcement services have not ceased. 
We are just doing things differently for the time being. We are not panicking, but have prepared ourselves. My staff is on the front line and I need to keep them safe and healthy so they can continue to serve and protect our community. In addition, our dispatchers are becoming inundated with phone calls for general questions related to COVID-19. It is important that we keep these lines open for emergencies. So please remember to only call for our dispatch center for emergencies and calls for service. For general questions, contact the Charlotte's 211 or go to the Center for Disease Control or the Department of Health's website. Pandemics can hit an agency hard if the proper precautions are not put into place. There are many that do and I will need our services during this time and unfortunately, criminals have not gone into self-isolation and are taking advantage of this situation. So stay vigilant. There have been many directives that have been put in place and many have asked what the penalties for non-compliance to these orders would be. Though there can be criminal penalties associated with non-compliance, we are hoping that people are smart, understanding, and self-comply. The last thing we want to do to criminally charge anyone. People are out of work and stress levels are high. We do not need to add to it, but we do need people to listen and abide by our warnings. So please, follow the directions and orders that have been issued. Protect yourself and your loved ones. This is for your own safety and to try and stop the spread of COVID-19. Your Sheriff's Office will always be here for you. So be strong, be safe, and never quit. And may God bless all of you. Hey, Shire County, this is Shire County Cop Watch, and uh, we have been pulling records on this uh, Shire County Sheriff Bill Promel, as you know, who is a felon for having a uh, list of gun owners and illegally profiling third-degree felony, $5 million fine, and our local state attorney, Meyer Fox, said he's not guilty because the list is not a list. I looked at the definition of list, and a list is a list, so uh, there's another bitch that needs to be uh, charged with the felony also. So here is proof that the Shire County Sheriff is uh, policing for profit. We've been pulling tickets, and we pulled tickets from 3-1-2020 uh, before the virus went stupid. And as you can see here, there's 12 pages, 130 tickets in one day. I mean, this is nuts. I mean, I'll just go through them. Anybody can ask for these, by the way. These are... Uh, uh, it's called Sunshine Law Making Records Request uh, PRR for uh, all tickets uh, for the list of tickets written for whatever day you want. And uh, yeah, I screwed up. I should have moved it over here a little bit more. I will move it over here a little bit more, but whatever. So you can see the names. And um, yeah, there you go. All that policing for profit. <clears throat> but here's what's interesting what changes is when they know that they can have blowback on them. See, see, they don't give a shit about you. Um, you know, they could, they'll ruin your life with the ticket. Uh, but, uh, you know, when they might be affected with this virus, with the coronavirus, isn't this weird what happens to tickets? There's only two pages. There's only... So instead of 130 tickets in a day... There's only 13 tickets in a day. So when they they have the possibility of getting fucked, isn't that weird? They don't get tick they don't they don't want to give out tickets cuz they don't want to get sick. But man, when you're when you're not a uh, um you know, when they can't get sick, oh man, they have no problems with fucking you over and doing policing for profit. So they can prop up their system, the courts, the judges, the prosecutors, the lawyers. The list is endless and disgusting. So here is your proof. Policing for profit is alive and well in Charlotte County. And the only reason why they're not right now is because there's blowback on them. And the rumor is one of them died and we do believe it is from the virus because he's fuckers will not stop policing for profit if they got it and died from it it's called karma bitch that is life 
They can't hurt anyone anymore. Freedom was planted. Remember what our founding father said, take a goddamn country back and you're a frog in a pot. The water is gone. Get the hell out and fight while you still can. Hey, Shark County. This is Shark County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use if you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc. And please donate. I do not make money from YouTube. And uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.